Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraft Tastic, and I'm going to share a few things that I hauled from Joanne, Hobby Lobby, and Michaels. Of course, everything that I picked up was on sale. I'm going to start with Joanne. I want to make some doily envelopes, and I don't have any um, heart doilies in my stash, so I picked these up. I think they were. 50% off if I'm not mistaken and I think they were like $2.50 regular price plus I had a 20% off coupon so uh, pretty much I never pay full price when I go to the craft store so just keep that in mind when I'm hauling that I don't pay full price if I not even if I can help it I always, always try to have a coupon or I don't buy it. I got these gold paper doilies and both of these are the same. They have 20, in, 20 doilies in each so they'll last quite a while. And then they had a sale on the um, Miss Sparkle & Co. items. Buy one, get one, half off. So I picked those up. And then I also got another pearl and another rhinestone. And that's everything that I got from Joanne. I went to Michael's and they had some items on clearance. I let's see, I'm gonna look at my receipt. Okay, I picked up these page protectors again to make shaker pockets with. And this was 99 cents. There are 10 of them in here. And they're just the Project Life page protectors. They're 4 by 4 And from the clearance section, I picked up these stickers, which I eyed these stickers all along. I had my eye on them. And so I picked them up because they were on clearance with, at a good price. This $159 each, but they were actually less than that they were actually 119 so I picked those up to add to my sticker stash and I also picked up these project life cards from Michaels this is what's included it also has a nice selection of die cuts and this was on clearance for $5.99 I believe I'm not sure what the regular price was. Okay. Then from Hobby Lobby, they had all Valentine's Day on sale. I think it was 40% off. So I picked up these red doilies. And they are red on both sides. So they will make great envelopes. I picked up the smaller ones in red and these also have 20 in the pack I do believe I looked at that in the store yeah 20 per pack of that one 24 of the small ones and then I also got the white small one and I went back to check on the clearance items again just to make sure I got everything that I wanted and I did find these white flowers for $1.25. And I got the white because I can always um, use my sprays to make them whatever color I need. And these also come with embellishments included. So it has some rhinestone embellishments in there. It's not a lot of flowers, but for $1.25, it's what, 20, 20 flowers and 10 gemstones. So... And they are silk. They're not pa they're not paper flowers. So thought that was a good price. I picked up these embellishments, or these are resin flowers that I was thinking I can use for planter clips. And also, the colors aren't the best, but again, they can be painted or recolored. So I picked them up. And last but not least from Hobby Lobby, I finally found this. I have been looking for it and looking for it and I finally lucked up on it. 
This is the 100% Girl sticker book. They had another version of this previously. And I was really, really looking. And I just, I, I found the older version. And I looked at it and I was like, hmm, they don't have the new one. Then I moved it a little to the side. And this was the last one. And it was hiding behind the old version. I don't know if someone put it back there to keep it hidden for later or what but I found it and I bought it so this is it and I used my 40% off well actually no stickers were 50% off when I got this so and this is what it looks like there are a few other sticker books at Hobby Lobby that I would like to get But I just think this is really cute and I love the color scheme as well. It's so weird that I, I like all this girly girly stuff. But that is so not me in real life. But I like the graphics of it all. I guess. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. So I picked that up. And that is everything I have so far. If I get anything else, I'll be back. Collective haul from Target, Hobby Lobby, and Michaels. I'm going to start with Target. I just picked up a few things um, from the bullseye dollar section. I got these gel pens, and I actually got two packs. And there were some other um, multicolor pens. I'm not sure what they're called, but... I got these and I got two packs, one for me and one for my daughter to go in her little Easter basket or bag or whatever I decided to put together for them. And since I'm doing more paper crafting, I picked up this pack of straws. They only had one pack with this design. So maybe if I hit another target, I can find more. This was the only pattern that I liked that they had. And that was all I picked up from Target. Then I hit the new $2 section at Michael's and I picked up two packs of these notebooks. I picked up this Flamingo version. The little, they had a, um, a, tw a black twine around them, but it keeps falling off, so I just took it off. And then I picked up this set. There's Magic in You, and it has the mermaids, brown mermaids, too, and the unicorns. So I picked those up and they are just blank paper on the inside. So, And I always tell myself, don't buy these, don't buy these. <laughs> because it's just blank paper, you can make it yourself. But they package them so cute and they look so cute. And I want to figure out how I can actually sew them myself. I have just, I need to dust off my sewing machine and get to it because I could definitely make these myself and I mean this one is a little off on the edge there so I don't know I could do that myself I also picked up some chalkboard paint I think they were buy one get one half off um this is chalk I don't know if these two are the same thing they were different prices I'm not really um that well versed in this type of paint but I will find out I have a couple of DIY projects that I've been holding since Christmas that I want to work on and I need it black and white so and I also picked up these flowers um they were on sale I needed white flowers for what I'm working on now so I picked those up they're paper yeah, Paper Flowers by Recollections. Then I also got some pink ones because it's like when I'm in the middle of crafting, it's always I'm always looking for light colors. And I have a lot of clearance flowers, so it was, was whatever color they had available. So I've been trying to stock up on white, especially because then I can just use inks and 
spray them to the color that I want but I like having just pink on hand so I definitely need to build up my stash and speaking of that I picked up these flowers back to the two dollar bin in the two dollar bin I'm not sure this is worth it considering how many flowers I get here but I picked those up I got these teeny tiny felt flowers two dollar bin I got the colored version as well and then I got two packs of these just because I really love these colors and we are coming up on spring and summer so I thought it would be nice sorry about the glare to um, have these colors these are what I consider planter girl colors so if they had the black flower in there this whole this set would be complete but. Then, oh I got three of those actually okay and then I got these paper clips and this was two dollars so that's what fifty cents a clip that's not bad considering that they are decorative those were the only ones I could find and I got this pack of sticky notes and I know we don't use these sticky notes they don't stick well at least in the past they haven't but I got them specifically for a purpose if they work that will be great if they don't if they don't stick well they don't stick well <laughs> they will be great for the project that I got them for so stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to show you how to use all those cute sticky notes that we buy that don't really work that great <laughs> okay so I picked up that then on my trip to Hobby Lobby I went back people were saying they're still putting things on uh, clearance so I went back to see if my Hobby Lobby had anything additional on clearance and I did find these punches the regular price was $16.99 it was on clearance for $4.25 and I got this one that says hello the regular price was $16.99 on clearance for $4.25 they had other punches, but I just didn't see anything that was generic enough for me to use over and over again. They were more specialized. They were more specialized things, so I left them in the store. <laughs> I also found these um, candy cane rhinestones for 50 cents, and I got two of those. So these will go in my Christmas supply stash so these are folders and yes I can make my own and I will have some videos up showing you how to make them but I really like the pattern on these especially this one with the girls I'm a sucker for this even though I have the, the washi tape and probably could come up with my own I just said okay I'm gonna bite the bullet and buy this so I did and I'm pretty sure these were on sale I just don't remember what the percentage was it was probably like 30 percent off um and then I got these um bookmarks page marks and yeah impulse buy but it's for personal planner and I don't really have anything in, in my personal planner that I'm using this year so I said okay and in addition I got this these tab dividers also and only because the girl is on there and these are really cute so anyway I did splurge and buy these and I think they're really cute and it was worth the price really really cute all I do is plan the girl this floral you, babe you got this with the typewriter the succulents really cute and the bows everything cute in one pack so yeah That's, there's that and it has the planet girl colors as you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and open this one as well since I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the planners so really cute the bows and 
this was my favorite favorite washi so I love the girls and I love the washi and the bows I mean who can resist can you see those all of this is just really cute and I'm glad I broke down and bought it sounds like I'm trying to convince myself doesn't it <laughs> okay so that is everything that I picked up this week if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.